How are you on everybody? Well, it's been a while. This is, uh, these are all dry and uh, in there. So I'm going to uh, sand these off, make them plush. And then I'm going to uh, put a little bit of wood filler in there to make sure that uh, you can't even tell that they were there. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> That's what was sticking out of the top. Now these things are uh, completely smooth. Definitely leveled off very well. I'm probably going to uh, go over it again with uh, the 320 and the 240 just to make sure there's no little uh, indents or whatever. And then uh, I'll hit this uh, with some uh, wood filler. Make sure it you know, takes up all, uh, all the little slack that might be in there. And uh, that's that. So I'm going to sand a little bit more on this and uh, I'll be back. Right on. So that's uh, done. Yeah, you can't even feel the difference. You can see the difference, but you can't feel it. That's all that matters. Once this thing's primed over, no one's ever going to know. So, uh, up next, tape off the uh, stuff that doesn't want to be painted. And, uh, and uh, that's it. So, uh, I'll be back. Mmm, looks yummy, huh? <laughs> that's, uh... That's the Elmer's Super Fill or Super Bond, uh, uh, what do they call this stuff? Hang on. Please stand by. There it is. Pro Bond Wood Filler. Stainable, but we're going to paint it so it doesn't really matter. But yeah. The other stuff is still kind of dry. I mean, it's all water based. I could add water to it and make it brand new again. But uh, this stuff is pretty thick the way it is. And I think that'll be perfect for uh, putting into those uh, dowel holes. So, uh, yeah, let me smear some wood filler on there and I'll be back. Right on. They're filled in. You know, you can still see the dowel tops, but uh, yeah, they're uh, good to go as far as I know. I'm just going to let that stuff sit. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes to dry up. And I'll sand that flat, and uh, then I think the next thing I got to do is uh, tape off the uh, pickup cavities, the neck pocket, and uh, the control cavity for uh, uh, with the uh, painter's tape. That way it doesn't get uh, all gooed up when I get ready to uh, spray the primer in there. So I'll be back in a little bit. There we go. So, I'm uh, getting closer. Still have a little bit more uh, of the... Uh, pick up to uh, do some taping on, same here, and uh, the uh, the pocket for the neck, there you go, that needs to be taped off too, and uh, then that's it, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean up this mess a little bit, and uh, I think it's almost time to get ready to do some, uh, some painting, so uh, here we go, I'll be back in a little bit, right on, it's all taped off, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I've got to uh, basically just mount it up on the uh, on the rack and uh, clean up some of this uh, freaking mess and uh, get ready for uh, doing some paint. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, well there it is, all taped up and on the rack and ready for primer. So uh, this is like going along really fast and really smoothly. So uh, I'm liking this. No flaws in the body. Everything is good to go. So I just got uh, some uh, some stuff. I got some goodies that uh, I got to open up. So uh, let me grab a knife and uh, we'll check this out. There it is. There's this box right here. So we can do some surgical uh,
Nice. It opens up. That's good. It's not ticking. No bombs, no snakes. Nice. They got paint stuff. Paint stuff is always cool. What do we have here? A 21 piece spray gun maintenance kit. Nice. What's this? FN1 Super S. Oh, it's a needle kit. Oh, nice. Made in Italy. Isn't that cool? It's not made in freaking China. Another tip kit. I made in Italy. Another tip kit. Holy crap, they really sent me a bunch of stuff, didn't they? Another tip kit. Wow. So I have... I have four different tips, not including the one that's on the gun. So uh, I should be able to spray about anything I want to spray. Let's uh, check out the gun. Once again, let's see. Made in Italy. I just got to show that off just because it's not China. Let's see, somehow this thing opens. Ah, uh, here we go. Instruction book. I probably need that. <laughs> this is a siphon feed. It's the uh, gun wrench. Nice. Feels like a high quality unit. Nice. Very cool. Nice. Oh shit, there's more. Oh wait, there's more. PR1. I'm going to think that's a pressure regulator. Let's see. Ooh, gold anodized. Nice. Doesn't feel so bad. Easy enough to read. Cool. Anything else in the box? Nope, nothing else in that box. So that's cool. That's a that was a good box. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff is always cool. Especially when you don't know how to use it. <laughs> but that's it. That's kind of my unboxing of my uh, my spray gun that I just got. I go uh, got some stuff I'm going to uh, do. I got to uh, basically. Uh, what it's uh, what it's been saying on the uh, on the inter trash is uh, basically I got to go through here and uh, redo well not redo it's got to clean it got to go through here take it apart do some uh, do some heavy duty cleaning make sure there's no uh, 
like crap left in it from when they put it all together. And uh, shit, I guess it's just a matter of straining the primer and putting it in here.